everybody, I'm Mrs. Robinson. Welcome to Art. Welcome everybody to Art at Shields Elementary and Havens Elementary. I am Mrs. Robinson. I am your new art teacher and this is my cat Penny who really wanted to be in this video. I am so excited to be your art teacher this year. The first week of school in art class, we're going to be talking a lot about the expectations for art class. Expectations means the things that I am expecting from you during your art time. Now, when you're at home, you still have some expectations of you. I'm expecting you to watch the videos every week and complete the art assignments. I'm also expecting you to always try your best on your art assignments. Everybody is not going to be perfect the very first time, and that's okay. I make mistakes all the time, and I'm rarely ever perfect the very first time that I try something, but I really want you to try your best every single time that you complete an art project. This year, art is going to be one of your required specials courses. If you go to Shields Elementary, then you will find your art courses on Seesaw, and if you go to Havens Elementary, you will find your art courses on Schoology. Every week, you will have an art course and an art assignment to complete. So if you go to your art course, there will be an art assignment posted for you. If you ever need to get a hold of me, the best way to do that would be through email. You can always email me and my email is lrobinson at swanvalley.k12.mi.us. The first thing we're going to do today is read this book, The Dot by Peter Reynolds. Art class was over but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, it's a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti, but I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted. A red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, and a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow and she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many different colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Then she noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper and said, show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Please sign it. I love this book, and I hope that you loved it too. And I love it because we all have times where we think, Ugh, I can't do that, before we even try. And even I have times sometimes when I think that I can't even draw. But the moral of the story, I think, is that we always need to give it our best effort. 
This week for your art lesson, all you will need at home is a piece of paper and some drawing supplies. That could be a pencil, it could be markers, crayons, colored pencils, or all of the above. I want you to make your very own dot. You can make your dot however you want. It can be whatever colors you want. I just want to see what you will create in your dot. That is all for this week's art lesson. I hope that you have a great first week of school and I will see you next week.